Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at solving quadratics using the square root method. All right, so here we've already got our squared stuff on one side, right? So we have x plus 3 in parentheses squared equals 25. I'd like to get x by itself, so the first thing that I need to do is get rid of this squared. I know that I can do that by square rooting both sides. So square undoes square root, and I get x plus 3 equals... Anytime I take the square root of both sides, I have to consider positive and negative. So positive and negative, square root of 25 makes positive and negative 5. So now I need to isolate my x, but I have this plus or minus 5. So I'm going to go ahead and split this up and solve them separately. So I'm going to have x plus 3 equals positive 5, and x plus 3 equals negative 5. Now I can subtract 3 from both sides to get x by itself. So one of my solutions is x equals 2. Doing the same thing to my second equation, my second solution is x equals negative 8. All right, let's try that method again. Here, we're not quite all the way to having our squared items isolated. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is isolate those squared items. So I'm going to do that by dividing by 2. So that leaves me with 3x minus 1 quantity squared equals 128 divided by 2 gives me 64. Now that my squared items are isolated, I can take the square root of both sides to get rid of that squared. And that's going to leave me with 3x minus 1 equals, don't forget, positive and negative, square root of 64 is 8. Now I want to split this into two separate equations, one for the positive and one for the negative, so that I can solve for x. So my first equation will be 3x minus 1 equals 8, and my second will be 3x minus 1 equals negative 8. Now I'll solve those two linear equations as usual. So add 1 to both sides. 3x equals 9, divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 3 as one of my solutions. Doing the same to my other equation, 3x equals negative 7, dividing both sides by 3, x equals negative 7 thirds is my second solution. Alright guys, that does it for this video on solving by square root method. See you next one.